Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 10th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at world weather and space weather, and earthquakes, volcanoes, everything that is amazing with our planet and our solar system. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, seeing quite a few bright spots showing up across the sun's surface, northern, southern, equatorial. There seems to be about six or seven of them now, compared to the other day when we had two, and before that we had nothing but coronal holes. And it looks like the we did have some backside activity from that outgoing sunspot, and we have a pretty active sunspot incoming now, and it is growing. With a large filament eruption just in front of it, can see that on the northern hemisphere of the sun as well looking here at the elongated coronal hole trying to stretch to the equator seems to be diminishing and there's another one forming just ahead of that active sunspot looking here at our real-time solar wind as all space weather is pretty much calm we did see a spike and a drop in the density over the last couple hours they could be ahead of a small coronal hole wind stream that is incoming. Most likely we'll see our space weather change in the next few mo few hours actually. Looking here at our geospace magnetosphere cut planes. And you can see not much affecting us. Last couple hours seeing the increase in density. Our Schumann residence for today, a power of 12. Still very calm across the planet right now. But still the earthquake frequency continues. Seems the planet is a buzz right now. Having a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, and it's still pretty active. S starting out here in Hawaii, a 4.2 in Pahala, Hawaii, at a 26 kilometer depth. Seen quite a bit of activity throughout the island this weekend, or sorry, last weekend and continuing. As well, Loyalty Islands, Fiji as well, Tonga today, some pretty deep earthquakes, 5.8. As well, a 5.0, 552 kilometer depth. That's the deepest quake today. Another one here, Fiji Islands, 4.6, 517 kilometer depth. So please stay aware and prepared. We do know that most times with these deep earthquakes, we can expect larger, shallower earthquakes. Overlooking Papua New Guinea here, a 5.1 in Kokopo, Papua New Guinea. As well, the Philippines seeing a lot of activity today. 4.5 there in Northern Indonesia. 4.7 Serengeti. Philippines and as well a 4.9 recorded west in the Philippines plate so very active through that region recently across the ring of fire really as we are looking at 52 active and erupting volcanoes around the world as well a 4.2 reported today in China northern China FAC India 4.9 that was from yesterday as well, Japan, Izu Islands region, 4.3. 4.3, Yamada, Japan. And as well, 4.3, Curious Russia. 4.3, Atka, Alaska. 
seeing a lot of activity coming back to the United States. As you can see, a lot of twos and threes across the North American plate today. 2.7 there in Texas. Or sorry, not Texas. Oklahoma, 2.7 as well. 2.7 there in New Mexico. Nevada, 2.6 as well. 2.8 there in California. Moving northward, Stanley, Idaho as well. Central America, Caribbean plate. Early this morning, they did see a sizable 4.1 quake. I'm sure a lot of people felt that one. Seeing the activity come back there as well to the subduction zone. 5.1, that was from yesterday. Into South America here, 4.1 Bolivia this morning at a 264 kilometer depth. So active South America as forecasted yesterday. And as well, forecasting some ex um, an uptick in seismicity through the South Sandwich Islands. And we're already seeing it here on the tip of Argentina. Five point four there in Africa reported yesterday. Iceland today reporting a couple of sizable earthquakes. Five point one Vogar and 4.4 Iceland 10 kilometer depth and that was yesterday's 4.7 reported today in Iran in Ghanabad Iran as well at 4.3 here in Germ Afghanistan 143 kilometer depth so 4 and 3 the numbers today Having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes, you can see a lot of deep, elevated rings now. Stay safe, stay ready, just have a plan. Because we could see a large tectonic shift that may affect the whole Pacific Rim. For that matter, even the Atlantic Rim. And that's why Morning Dew is here for you, keeping humanity and wear prepared so that you know what's going on with our planet that's the last seven days for earthquakes amazing stuff but kind of peculiar makes you wonder what's up overlooking Pacific Disaster Center here today we did see quite a few tornado warnings pop up about four of them through central and the northeastern United States the Plains Central Plains Twin Cities Minnesota as well Iowa Quad Cities, Des Moines, Iowa, Wisconsin. And they're also seeing a lot of snow that is going to be packing up over the next little while. We'll get into that in just a moment. Winter storm is developing now. So ahead of this front, there were tornado watches and warnings that popped up, but no confirmations. Over the next few days, we could see the threat for extreme weather increase to about 80 or 90 percent watch for the five-day forecast coming up looking here at the most recent volcanoes being updated Semeru, Reventador, Era, Venemianov, Dokono, Swiss and Ajima, Kadavor, Pakaya, Sabinkaya we're still looking at 52 active and erupting volcanoes if not more I know there's quite a bit of activity being reported in Russia. New volcano in the Philippines, or sorry, uh, Papua New Guinea, Bagana, and as well, Iceland, heads up friends and family from around the world. I appreciate you all checking in. We are very, very close to 28,000 followers. Amazing. And I want to thank you all so much. I'm truly grateful to have you all on board and in the family. Please come on into the live stream. Come say hi. Get to know the do. Big systems affecting the West Coast. Big winter storm still affecting the United States. 
overlooking here snow totals for the next 10 days. Some areas could see 130 centimeters, but most likely Colorado just about a foot. Central Plains, but a blizzard that is brewing heading your way. So yeah, overlooking the five day forecast here, star note, home base, Calgary, Alberta. You're seeing that large low develop there in the central plains of the United States, as well a big low here affecting Alaska, BC, and then later Alberta, as it is gonna bring some pretty warm temperatures ahead of it. Big Southwest Pacific push with this low, but then that low is set to form and head eastward right over southern Alberta. I really hope the cold temperatures don't hang around long enough because <laughs> we could see a doozy of a storm. Something like what the United States are about to see here. Now, this is a Pacific low that came in through Colorado a few days ago and then hit the Gulf and is now heading north. So this is going to be a big staller for sure as it slowly heads east and grows. So this is going to affect about six states over the next little while. Blizzard warnings as well extreme weather. Big system here affecting eastern Canada, parts of Quebec, the Atlantic provinces. The snow continues as there's a large low north of you. Not much to talk about through the Gulf, North Florida, southeastern United States, very dry. But then look at this big system that is forming and then breaking up, heading through parts of Eastern Europe and into Russia. Could see some extreme weather unfold across Europe over the next little while. Watch for many, many lightning strikes and uh, temperature drops. A roller coaster event right now across the Northern Hemisphere. Large low pressure system here getting ready to head into Upper Mongolia as well. It's going to bring quite a bit of snow, extreme weather to parts of the West Indies. Strong high pressure ridge across Russia right now, keeping things cool and dry. Got some daily evaporation, heavy amounts moving into the Philippines for Saturday into Sunday. No major systems to talk about in the West Pacific. Overlooking Australia. Do have some a little bit of relief here and some moisture moving into parts of Northwest and then the Southeast. But then look at this atmospheric line of moisture here stretching straight across the continent. And in this forecast, look at it, it stretches all the way down to Antarctica. That's crazy. I haven't seen a forecast like this yet, folks. Atmospheric rivers encompassing our hemispheres. Get ready. Overlooking South America. Not much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains heavier towards Colombia and north coastal regions. Same with Africa. Not too much to talk about. Except for later in the forecast, could see a low developing here and heading southward again. But slowly, we'll see. Lots of strange changes in these forecasts. And it doesn't take long for them to change. Overlooking Cyclone Habana here. Still just doing a couple laps through the Indian Ocean. Maybe gearing up to be a doozy. I'm not sure. We'll see. We're going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern pointing out the big players in the southern hemisphere, the cold temperatures, and as well the big systems that will be affecting most of the United States, Iceland, and Greenland the next little while, and as well parts of Europe. So heads up, friends and family. Thanks for watching today. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Again, I appreciate you all watching. Much love and prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.